In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Au. This is gold. And the electron configuration for gold is a bit of an exception, so we need to be careful with that. If you looked at the periodic table, you followed the patterns for the different groups and periods, you would see that gold should end in 5D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it would, according to this, end in 5D9. You could look at this chart here as well, and you would end up with 5D9. Often for these transition metals here, we'll put the 6S last. So we flip the 5D9 and the 6S2. So let's flip those to get this. That helps some, but this still is not the correct electron configuration for gold. And here's why. Gold would be a lot more stable if we had the 5D orbital here full or half full. So half full would be each one of these blocks has one full each one of these blocks would have two. That's more stable, but we don't have that. So what happens with gold is this electron right here from the 6s1, that goes down here with the 5d. So now the 5d, it's full. Each one of these blocks has a pair of electrons. The 6s, it just has one. But this is much more stable to have this full. Now we would write the configuration like this here. We have the 5d10 full, and the 6s1, that just has one, but that's okay. So this is the electron configuration for gold. Again, we're thinking about this from the perspective that d orbitals are more stable when they're completely full or half full, just one electron in each one of these here. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for gold. Thanks for watching.